It's been a while since I made a video, but there's been things going on in my life, and I thought YouTube is probably not for me. Yet I was longing for creating some content and talking about my journey with photography. In this episode I will be talking about my recent addition to the gearbox, which is the Ricoh GR3X. It is my third camera, an everyday companion. I spent a lot of time looking for a compact everyday camera that would suit casual street photography and macros and yet capable of making decent portraits as well. I had the GR2 some time ago and I must say it was a great camera. I still kinda miss it and the built-in flash, but I wished it had something like 35mm equivalent lens. And then after GR3, which had basically the same lens as GR2, Ricoh launched the GR3X, a pocket APS-C with a 40mm equivalent with a 2.8 aperture. A dream come true. With some compromise, of course. The GR3X is like a little jewel. Really well built little camera that is smaller than your regular phone. It has an APS-C size 24 megapixel sensor with a 26 f 2.8 lens, which is something like 40 mm f 4 if compared to a full frame. 40 mm is a very interesting focal length. It's a little tighter than 35, but still wide enough for those environmental shots. I'd say it's a perfect balance for street and portraits. The camera has IBIS which comes very handy, especially for street photography and low light shots. And it's pretty impressive what specs Rico managed to squeeze in such a small camera. It can be fully customized and once set up, it's really fun to shoot with. And the downside is the lack of viewfinder and unfortunately the internal flash, which the GR2 had and it was really fun to use. Another thing is the poor battery life and quite terrible video. Still, the camera can be charged with an USB-C cable, so you can basically recharge it everywhere. I bought this camera especially as a handy portrait device that I can take with me every day. I like to keep my gear to a minimum and I hate carrying a lot of camera stuff. In this case, Rico cannot be matched. It is so compact that I still can't believe the specs it's packed with. The 40mm lens is definitely better for portraits in terms of distortion than the previous 28mm. Um, and the 2.8 aperture will give you some pretty cool bokeh. Still, you can do environmental portraits and separate your subject from the background to a certain level. The image quality is awesome, and the lens is tack sharp, open wide. The contrasts are deep, and the dynamic range lets you pull off a lot from the RAW files, which are DNGs by the way, so you can probably use your smart fridge to edit them if there's no computer or phone around. And speaking of RAW files, Ricoh mobile app lets you transfer RAW files to your phone or tablet for direct editing. It's a really nice move from Ricoh. I can now easily edit my street shots and portraits while traveling without compromise using popular editing software for mobile devices like Lightroom or Polar. It's a huge advantage if you value compact setups that fill in small backpacks, just like me. The IF is good, sometimes it lacks speed, but works pretty well. And the cool addition from latest firmware upgrade is the center area IF. It's really handy during street photography as it picks up faces really quickly and has the IAF feature. You can also use the touch screen to select the point for the IAF or use the subject tracking manual focus or the Ricoh signature snap focus feature as seen in previous models. And I really like the color science from Ricoh. It reminds me a little of Fuji's colors. The positive film simulation is great and gives you some pretty impressive results straight out of the camera. The built-in role developer 
lets you tweak your photos and save multiple JPEGs to progress your work. Very handy. I must say that the GR3X is not for everybody. This camera has something it's hard to describe and on the other hand it lacks things that many people will complain about. Yet Ricoh never said it is a camera for everyone. The GR philosophy is to give you an everyday companion that lets you capture the world around you without being intimidating and to focus on the subjects and the details. For me it's a great camera that fits in my pocket and it can be used both for streets and portraits. I don't like to change lenses and my favorite focal length is 35mm, so in fixed 40s it suits me really well. And especially in the street it makes you less intrusive as you don't have to get as close as with a wider lens. Do I regret getting the GR3X? Definitely not. Alright, so I hope you did enjoy this little video and if you did, please subscribe to the channel so it will keep me more motivated and of course it will help me be um, a little higher in the YouTube's search results. Anyway, it was great to have you here and remember, keep on shooting, keep your passion alive. See you next time.